Well, the cleanup in East Lansing continues as the city recovers from rowdy crowds who took to the streets after the Big Ten championship game. Police officers were busy all morning long. As Lauren Foldenberg reports, the fire department says folks are lucky things weren't worse. The streets are quiet at Cedar Village on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Hard to believe they looked like this just hours before. We're going to the Rose Bowl. We can smell the roses in East Lansing. Sunday morning, students celebrated their football team's big win, burning whatever they could find. As police in riot gear tried their best to disperse the crowds. The engine companies and truck companies, fire department was very busy last night. Lieutenant Leo Allaire says East Lansing Fire had to borrow three trucks from Lansing Fire Department as it rushed to 55 fires in five hours. As far as celebrations go, this is pretty much average. We've actually seen a lot worse than this uh, with uh, the past riots that they had back in 98 and 2002. As for the aftermath of the early morning chaos, little scars like this are really all there is to show for it. Of the 55 fires East Lansing responded to, none of them were structure fires, something that makes the cleanup easier and cheaper. It's definitely much easier to pick up a couch versus a house full of, you know, furniture. Lieutenant Allaire says things could have been a lot worse. We're very lucky that nobody was hurt. Uh, whenever you set things on fire, there's always a risk of people getting hurt, property getting damaged. In this case, it seems the worst may have been avoided. In East Lansing, Lauren Fultenberg, Fox 47 News. East Lansing police made multiple arrests and hope to press charges for those involved.